Hi there! In today's video, we are going to be walking you through our smart glasses and their systems and software. Now, I know you're super excited to start using state-of-the-art augmented reality at work, but hold on, we can't put it on just yet. First, let's take a look at the device. This is the HMT-1. The power button is a small silver button on the side of the device. Press and hold this button for three to five seconds to turn the device on and off. Simply tap the power button to put the device to sleep or wake it. Next to the power button is the action button. Tap the action button to enter screen lock mode and exit when needed. This will pause your workflow from continuing and allow for free speech without affecting your current work. Please note that the action button can have different functions depending on location. Refer to your site specific manual for more information. The camera pod is located above the boom arm and can be adjusted up and down. The boom arm contains the display you'll be looking into. The boom arm allows you to adjust the positioning of the display and can be adjusted up and down, left and right, and forward and back. You can also invert the orientation depending on if you are left or right eye dominant. The HMT-1 has two sets of microphones. The primary mic faces down to your mouth. The front microphone is located on the display pod. The reference mic is upward facing and functions to filter out background noise. The rear mics are located on the side of the device and should only be used when you move the boom arm out of the way. You'll notice two compartments on the rear of the device. On the side opposite the boom arm, there's a compartment that contains the battery. To remove the battery, open the flap and give the battery cap a twist and light pull. On the side with the boom arm, the compartment contains the charging port. This is where you'll plug in your device for fast charging. Now that we've gotten to know the device a little bit, let's learn how to wear it. Which eye is your dominant? Let's do a quick test to see. Make a triangle with your hands. Then pick an item in the room and try centering it in that triangle. Close your right eye. Now, did the object move out of the triangle? If it did, that means your right eye dominant. Now close your left eye, and if the object moves, then your left eye dominant. Which are you? All right, so now that we know which eye is your dominant, let's go ahead and try on the device. Go ahead and flip over the device since your left eye dominant, and make sure to adjust your head strap so you can be comfortable. Now let's see you put it on. No, not like that. Let's make sure you're wearing it correctly. When wearing your device correctly, it should always rest above your ears and stay parallel to the ground. And when adjusting your device, start with a Z formation, then move it from there. You should be able to easily look at your work ahead of you and look down at your screen. Most people find it comfortable to wear the device with the display pod resting right below their dominant eye. The HMT-1 has a voice activated system and screen to operate the unit. Start by saying out loud, Frontline Workplace. This will open the start screen. From here, say out loud, start work. You will be prompted to scan your login card to sign in. Okay, so let's take a look at the interface you're seeing. On your screen, you'll see a bar at the top with some vital info to keep your eye on. We have your battery level, Wi-Fi connection, cloud, and your microphone status. Your cloud status shows whether you are connected to your cloud server. This cloud server is essential for receiving and validating work. If any of these icons appear red, that means you may have an issue going on. Contact your supervisor for help if you need it. The view screen has some icons. Let's take a look at the most important ones for you to remember. My tasks will open your task menu. To start picking, that's the one to select. This is what you'll use when it's time to start picking. New task allows for one-time workflow creation. Scan task lets you scan a QR code that contains a workflow. This may or may not be applicable for your device. Call support. You can use this to call an administrator for help. Settings should be familiar to you. This option allows you to adjust your volume, screen brightness, and speech confidence. Speech confidence concerns how the system understands you. If you have an accent or you're soft-spoken, you may want to lower your speech confidence. We recommend only adjusting by one at a time in any direction. Info menu allows you to see your device's serial number. Exit application. Say this when you're ready to leave the app and log out. Now that you know how to use the device, let's learn how to care for it. Start by wiping your device clean. We recommend using alcohol wipes to keep things sanitary. 
Then take it to your designated station and plug in the device to charge. Make sure to plug in your device when it's not in use, during breaks, at the end of your shift, or when you're finished with the tasks for the day. You may have to occasionally switch out or charge your device's battery. To do this, start by removing your device's battery. Then, insert your battery to the battery charging station. The battery charger has small copper pins that line up to the copper stripes on the back of the battery. Insert your battery at an angle so that the copper pins and stripes line up. Then, simply click the battery into place. If you put the battery in wrong, gently take it out and try again. Do not try turning the battery in the charging station as this could break the station. Do not try to place the battery in straight. That could also break the pins in the charging station. With all of that information, you're all set up to start using the HMT-1 at work. Reach out to your supervisor for any help using the device.